Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Fibonacci retracement and the direction of the trends because actually uh, these two elements are the most important parts of trading Forex, especially for scalping. And also, I want to mention that there are some mistakes the beginner is doing and it's now the good opportunity to talk about them. But first, uh, I want to remind everyone that if you guys uh, are learning from my channel and if you guys are making profits uh, and uh, gaining more knowledge from the, my videos, then I would really appreciate your support to the channel if you can open account in IC markets using the link provided in the description below this video or in the pinned comment. As you can see at the first comment, I have posted also the link of IC markets where you can open the account. And of course, I'm not trying to use, use, take, take any advantage from anyone. I'm not using anyone here. All I'm saying is if you guys are actually uh, taking efforts, efforts and uh, sorry, if you guys are taking any uh, improvements or knowledge and if you want to pay back the hard effort I'm doing on this channel, then I would really appreciate li this little uh, appreciation from you or little support from you by opening the account uh, of IC Marcus using the link in the description. And again, thank you in advance. And uh, I hope you guys are going to learn more. And hopefully all together, we will make more profits in Forex industry. So what I was going to say is, uh, I want to explain first about this trade that I have entered for the USCCHF. Actually, I really found this good setup and I don't want to miss it. Uh, I will explain to you the reason and actually it is one of the uh, parts of this video. So um, the trend lines, the Fibonacci, what are what is the combination between these two? Now, let me first, I want to say the first thing here in this video that so many beginners actually let me do something first. I just had to exit scheme, uh, steam, sorry, scheme. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is, uh, unfortunately, when the beginners learning Forex, the very first thing the teacher is telling them is this bullshit. Trend is your friend. Trend is your friend, in my opinion, my friends, is the biggest lie in the Forex world. Actually, this lie is very convenient for so many people because they think that uh, if they look at the chart, and they tell him, hey, look at this man, the trend is going up and therefore you have to swim with the flow. You have to swim with the tide and you have to go along with the flow. So therefore don't uh, sell here. You have to start buying only. And the poor guy is going to believe it because actually it does make sense. Look at that. The trend is really going up indeed. But however, if he started to place the buy order right here, what's going to happen? Of course, he's going to lose the trade and if he started buying again right here he's still gonna lose the trade and if he's again buying right here he's still gonna lose and he's thinking man what the hell this trend was going up what happened i will tell you what happened um actually by using fibonacci retracement guys we can tell if the trend is gonna continue the rise or not uh, let me go to this example here from this trade that i'm currently on so for example what i just told you right now i'm doing it right here man it's a lot you are confusing us you just said don't continue the trend but here you are buying this trend also you are buying on this upper trend or this bullish trend actually there is something here i did and i want to show it to you remember guys i'm right now on the four hour time frame let's move to the five minute time frame check that out on the five minute time frame I have placed my buy order right here exactly from that previous resistance. However, of course, that is not the only thing that I have relied on. Let me draw here a Fibonacci retracement. So this is the tool right here, Fibonacci retracement. If you click on it and you draw Fibonacci retracement from this low right here to this high right here. Now, let me just tell you something here. And I want to make it very short and easy to the beginners. When you draw my friends Fibonacci retracement, if you see the market, for example, this this Fibonacci retracement, I have drawn it. Uh, I have drawn it from the lower low to the higher high. So that was my starting point, and that was my ending point. That means I am looking at upper trend. Okay, if you are on upper trend, you have to draw it from the lower low to the higher high. If you are on a downtrend, you have to draw it from the lower low to the Sorry, sorry, from the higher high to the lower low. Okay, so 
this is one of the things that we need to work to focus at. Second thing is Fibonacci 61.8. It's all about Fibonacci 61.8. Why? Because once I have drawn my Fibonacci retracement like this, and I am relying on that I am on at an upper trend. If the if the market has actually made a breakout from Fibonacci 61.8, uh, sorry, if, if the market has made a bearish breakout from Fibonacci 61.8, that means that this trend is no longer bullish trend and now it's a bearish trend. If the market has actually reversed from Fibonacci 61.8, it means that the market is, market is still valid as a bullish trend and the buy order is still valid. It's very simple, right? Now, let's see here. What I did right here is, uh, after drawing the Fibonacci from this lower low to this higher high, uh, and I saw this market actually has reversed from this point right here, I knew that the Fibonacci 61.8 is still holding its position as a previous resistance. That resistance has become a new support. Remember, I'm on the five minute time frame. So even on the smallest time frames, this rule is still applied. The market actually gonna always, I cannot say always, most of the time, I would say 95% of the time, is actually gonna respect this uh, rule, right here, rule right here, and we can backtest it now if you want, I will, and I will do that, I will do that actually. I will backtest it on the, on the history. Uh, of the chart and let's uh, let's check together if that has worked indeed so if uh, for example the market actually has made right here a bearish breakout from this Fibonacci retracement what is the next order is gonna do the next order gonna be is we are we have to wait for the market to rise a little bit more to retest again Fibonacci 61.8 and that resistance is gonna keep its position as a resistance and from that point we are going to short we are going to sell However, that didn't happen. What happened is the market actually has reversed from that pre previous 61.8. And therefore, what happened here is the completely the opposite. Instead of selling, actually, guys, this is one of the mistakes that people are doing when they are following my strategy. Well, for example, when there is not example, actually, this is right here, example right in front of you. When, when you see, look at that, it's getting closer to the, te to, closer to the tech profit. Nice. So, um, for example, when they see the market actually rising like this, and they remember Salah said always that we can start shorting right here at that previous resistance. So that resistance must be now a new resistance, uh, or the market now must be respecting that resistance level, and therefore I'm going to start shorting. It doesn't work like this. As I said before, the market has just reversed from 61.8. Therefore, this is not going to be a new resistance. This is going to be now a new support. I think, <clears throat> I think guys, it's, it's very clear, right? Because I, I'm explaining it now for the third time. It's not going to be a new resistance. It's going to be a new support because the market has reversed from 61.8. And we can see right here, there was not a single price action indicates a bearish breakout. So let me just make it very clear, guys. I want to make it very simple. When you are drawing a Fibonacci retracement, okay, from any point, if, for example, uh, the market is falling down, and you can see that the chart is actually respecting the Fibonacci, Fibonacci retracements, as long as the market is below 61.8, this is a bearish trend. As long as the market actually break out from 61.8, it's no longer bearish trend. It's right now a bullish trend. Of course, vice versa, if we draw Fibonacci like this, like that, as we can see, the trend uh, is an upper trend. It's actually still respecting the levels. It's upper trend and it's moving upward. However, if the market actually has made a breakout from 61.8, just like that, this trend is no more is no more bullish trend right now it's gonna be a bearish one just like this it's now uh, breaking out from that level and no more it's a it's no more a bullish trend it's now a bearish one so it's all about the breakout from 61.8 the breakout from 61.8 is gonna determine if this trend is gonna continue uh, the direction or not let me go to the four hour time frame for example this level right here and guys, I, I, I swear I did not test this before recording. 
I did not test actually you know something I want to go randomly right now to any chart any chart at all any chart and just scroll back in the time and just uh, prove it to you randomly so I'm just selecting randomly cat JPY okay let me just scroll randomly let me just delete this line so they won't confuse us in the future uh, okay I'm deleting them all from the monthly chart go back to the four hour time frame and again scroll back all the way randomly completely randomly I'm gonna stop at five one two three four five okay so we stopped right here um February okay four hour time frame I don't think this is this is you right I don't know whatever okay so let me just uh, show you this so for example we are right here on this bearish trend as you can see the trend is moving in a bearish momentum so you can say that we are right now on a bearish trend however if we draw here a Fibonacci retracement from this low, uh, higher high to this lower low like this check that out what happened is the market actually after the breakout right here look at that the market actually has kept its position here as a resistance and right here as a resistance because this is Fibonacci 61.8 um, you cannot tell me okay this is a mistake I did actually because um, when I started drawing the Fibonacci retracement from this point right here to this point right here someone might say look at that Salah the market actually has break out from Fibonacci 61.8 right but remember at that point when this happened this ending here it wasn't exist so we need to look more to the uh, newer time so let's go to the right side look at that what I want to say is as long as the market is below Fibonacci 61.8 the continuation of the bearish trend has continued I mean you, you get my point right the market is still going down look at that I will just draw here a line on Fibonacci 61.8 it is right here this is Fibonacci 61.8 as long as the market is below that level it has it has been a bearish trend look at that let me go to the daily candle exactly exactly this is better look at the daily ch uh, daily chart It's showing us actually much better view this is the same bearish trend that we just talked about all right so as you can see the market was moving in a bearish trend and immediately once the market has made the breakout from Fibonacci 61.8 check what happened the market actually has respected this level again and that long-term resistance has now become a new support exactly on Fibonacci 61.8 now let's look more to the to the recent time let's let's scroll to the right look at that check that out the market actually has been going in a bullish momentum in a bullish trend for quite long time and remember I'm on the daily chart until finally it has also made a breakout from 61.8 what happened is after the breakout from the 61.8 the market actually has fallen down the market is no more in a bearish sorry no, no more in a bullish momentum it's now very bearish not only that but that previous support has now become a resistance one time two times and three times four times fifth time even here a fake breakout seventh time as well so many times what I'm trying to say here guys that you can check by yourself that the direction of the trend has always been changed right after the breakout from 61.8 if the market is breaking out above 61.8 it's a bullish trend if the market breaking out below 61.8 it's a bearish trend and as you can see look at that the market resumed going in a bearish momentum until finally it has reached the same level right here uh, see look at that the market now is rising it's, it's approaching the same level of Fibonacci 61.8 this is cat GPY by the way so I think the point right here, right here is clear so therefore uh, how we can use this in our trading as I said let's go back to the cats uh, to the UCCHF look at that the market is about to hit the tech profit level and I'm about to get to make ten dollars from this trade I think I'm gonna close this trade uh, nine pips ten pips yeah perfectly fine it has already hit the take profit level and I have made good profit out of it now continue let's continue that's very nice now let me draw Fibonacci retracement right from this low uh, this higher high to this to this lower low this is interesting look at the candle the candle right now is trying to break out from 61.8 
and so far seems like it's not able to therefore what we can do is we can actually start shorting I'm going to start shorting right here let me just be sure hold on uh, it's not that easy when you are doing it on your live on your live account with your real money so you have to be very careful what you are doing but from my analysis we are having right here a resistance and the market might fall actually to retest that broken support level so this is going to be a support number two and right here we are having support number one i believe this is what's going to happen yes i'm going to short yes yes i'm i'm, I'm okay i'm ready for this what two times did i did i open another trade without seeing mm, bummer that's not so good it's okay I thought the trade hasn't been triggered to be honest maybe I actually because guys I'm not uh, I'm not wearing my headphones I didn't hear the sound of MetaTrader when the trade opened I just uh, placed the microphone in front of me and I'm speaking so yeah anyway it's okay it's all good no problem I still believe it's gonna continue the fall and as I said before guys it's all because of the 61.8 now does that mean that we can start placing short and buy always on 61.8? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. As you can see, what I did right now is analyzing the chart right in front of you. I just didn't place it randomly. Uh, what happened here is I saw here a strong bearish candle and I saw right here a single attempt of a support and I'm assuming only guys, it's all analysis. I'm not pretending to know the future, of course. I'm just analyzing that the market m seems like it's not able so far to break out from 61.8. It seems like it's actually getting weaker at this point. Uh, I remember I'm on the five minute time frame as well. So what we can expect right here that the market might fall right here to create support number two. Now regarding the stop loss, as I said before, if the market has made any bullish breakout from 61.8, it means that the market actually gonna continue the rise. And therefore I need to cancel my sell order and replace it with a buy order. But the buy orders better be placed. For example, if the, the market actually has made here a strong bullish breakout candle, the buy order is better be placed at when the market revisit or retest uh, 61.8 and it's gonna become now a new support and after confirming that the market is actually getting stronger and breaking out from 61.8 then we can start buying right here so the right term to say is fibonacci 61 can you start buying on sh or shorting on 61.8 absolutely yes but not randomly you have to follow the trend you have to follow how the market is behaving this example right here is the best one in my opinion as i mentioned before for the fourth time i'm talking now the market actually when it draws right here some people might assume that this is a resistance it has to keep its position as a resistance and therefore i'm going to short ignoring or forgetting actually that this level right here this level right here was a reverse from 61.8 means that this resistance is not going to keep its position as a resistance no it's actually going to become a new support so anyway uh, i have just placed uh, these two trades accidentally of course the second one uh, on this level on 61.8 hoping that this trend is going to continue to be a bearish one so therefore um, i need now to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen next with this trade of course i just maybe i need to remind to remind you that regarding the the stop loss i'm not gonna set, uh, set any stop loss right here because uh, as i said before it's all upon the price action if i saw here a bullish breakout candle from 61.8 then i'm gonna close my trade immediately i'm gonna cancel it and gonna replace it with a buy one only when the market falls to retest the broken resistance right here so it's going to become a new support and only that point and only then i'm going to start the buy so the the sell order is going to be replaced with the buy but however it all up to this candle how it reacts to the level so far my um my analysis was accurate uh, thankfully look at that i also had a perfect perfect entry and the market right now is going so far in three pips of profit anyway allow me now please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this deal all right guys so actually it's not a live trading video so i think ten dollars is a good profit from this trade and i'm gonna actually end it 
and just take uh, the profit and can and close the trades now i just wanted in the end to show you a few more examples and i really hope guys um you have uh, got the clear image or the clear picture of what i'm trying to show you here about the fibonacci 61.8 how it's actually gonna determine if the trend is gonna reverse or not actually it's actually that's why they call it the jackpot the golden jackpot because fibonacci 61.8 can give can give you a lot of profits but however you still have to be patient to know if the market actually has indeed break out from that level or not let me show you example right here um if i'm not mistaken we can draw fibonacci retracement from that point right here and check that out uh, what we can see right here is the market actually has respected fibonacci 61.8 right here and right here and uh, therefore it has become a support for quite a long time however when the market actually has made here a breakout from 61.8 we can see that the market actually seems like it's reversing and indeed that support has become a new resistance. However, the market didn't hold the position for a long time and immediately reversed. Immediately the market has changed the direction and the, this, the support has already become also another support. So why this happened? Of course, I am right now on the one hour time frame let's move to the daily candles if you always guys this is actually very good if you want always to understand what happened it's advice that you always go to the daily to the bigger time frame to understand what really happened analyzing the charts on the 30 minutes or one hour time frame is not really gonna cut it it's not gonna give you the clear picture of what happened so what happened right here as we can see this is the daily chart and look at that this is the same what we have seen right here on the one hour time frame let me just uh, show it to you uh, this is exactly guys look at this this is what we have seen right now on the one hour time frame and this is here what seemed like uh, the market has, has actually changed the direction and supposed to be a bearish trend but that has failed so the reason behind of that if we go to the daily candle the bigger time frame we can see clearly this is right here the part where we have thought the market is going to change the direction this price action right here to be honest with you i'm not really so much aware about the terms i think this is the shining star or the morning star whatever uh this usually indicates a bearish sorry, a bullish reversal actually i'm teaching this on my uh binary options channel however i just uh, keep confusing the names it is is it the morning star is it the evening star shining star brilliant star whatever i <laughs> really i don't care about these terms as long as i understand by myself what's happening and making some profits uh, from my trading anyway what i'm trying to say is if we look at this daily candle we can understand the reason why that one has failed because obviously this price action indicate a bullish reversal and therefore the not only that one by the way tada this one right here this is my favorite price action uh, this one right here guys this is the candle this is my favorite price action which usually indicates uh, a bullish continuation and we can see it also right here this candle is amazing i'm really amazed by this candle because it is very rarely to 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 fail me most of the time actually this candle is uh, one of the ways to uh, make profit from scalping and as we can see right now it has indeed worked right here both times actually when the scandal has appeared the market continued the rise anyway that's not our subject the subject is the market after reversing from 61.8 has kept the position as an upper trend so you can actually um I will tell you something in the next video is going to be a live trading session using this method of scalping. What I just showed you right here is a way of to understand or actually it's the, the introduction of this way of using Fibonacci 61.8. Um, it's going to be very helpful, guys. Trust me, you can try it by yourself. It's going to be very helpful and it's going to improve your trading experience. And hopefully also it will help you to gain a lot more profits and also, of course, to avoid losing a lot of trades. So in the end, uh, I want to remind everyone, everyone that you can, guys, open account in IC Markets using the link provided in the description below this video. Uh, uh, thank you for supporting the channel. So ho hopefully we can continue working on Extreme Trader and hopefully we can continue uh providing you with this material education 
uh, sorry, educational materials, sorry, on this channel. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.